Hello, it's Dr. Rhonda Johnson. Today is Thursday, March 16, 2023, and Brain Awareness Week is this week, March 13th through 19th. And today I'm talking about our brain. Well, our brains are highly developed structures that we tend not to think about unless we hear about people getting concussions or some life-threatening illnesses such as a stroke or a brain tumor or dementia or Parkinson's disease. But really, how much do you know about your brain's basic anatomy? Well, I said the brain is very complex structurally. So in most simplistic terms, we have the part of our brain called the cerebral cortex, which is mainly involved in states of consciousness and thinking. And then we have the cerebrum, which is mainly involved in voluntary movement. Now, our brains take in complex information through our five primary senses, and then it integrates that information very quickly so we can make decisions. All of this happens at rapid speeds because there are connections between our brain cells. Now, there's another part of the brain called the cerebellum that's involved in coordination and movement. And then there's the brainstem, the part of the brain that controls our heart rate and our breathing. Now, our brains depend on a rich blood flow, blood that carries oxygen and nutrients. Now, did you know that the human brain contains an estimated 86 billion neurons. These neurons are the major cells of the brain. And those 86 billion brain cells communicate by passing chemical messages in a process that's called neurotransmission. Now again, I'm not going to go into the complicated neuroscience of the human brain. But just know, to keep our brains healthy, we need some basic things daily. We need physical activity uh, to keep our brains healthy. We need quality sleep. We need healthy foods. We need some stimulation as well as some relaxation, that balance. And I like to throw in one more thing. We need a little bit of laughter because laughter helps uh, release stress and improves release of brain hormones that helps us to relax. Now, it goes without saying, but I want to say it anyway. There are things that can make our brains suffer tragically. Drugs such as marijuana, heroin, methamphetamine, cocaine, and alcohol. These substances can damage our brains. They can interfere with the brain's chemistry and the nerve circuits especially if they're used too early in life and for too long. Ultimately, they can create changes in the brain structure and function in an unhealthy way. My message today is just a simplified message about brain awareness. The take-home point is to keep your brain healthy. Avoid intentionally damaging your brain because you only have one brain and you want to keep it healthy for your lifetime. That's my message today. I hope you'll be stimulated enough to learn more about the neuroscience of the brain. Take care, folks.